get out of the red. So I should go there now? Yep. That's it. Good position. Get out. Can't really get a line of sight. I guess I can jump on top of the table. Yeah, just watch that. He's on the left. So next one then? Yep. So now we won't have any red circles anymore, only those red lanes. Oh nice, that's why that guy dies first. Mm. The circles are more unpleasant than the lanes. Out. <laughs> Sorry if I'm LOSing you. Ah, I was DPS. <laughs> Always getting done. Okay, we're done. Careful there. So this is probably the hardest boss fight I've seen in this whole game. I think I think everybody has to come in because you guys are LOS to the door makes a mirror even though it's not there so I can't even heal you. So we're, we're staying here because uh, we don't want aggro. That's the main point, right? Okay. The guy on the left. And Nyrus is going to come down right pretty much on the crates where I'm standing. So that's why that's we also why group we also up the ads, up ads over here. Over here. Mm -hmm. So Nyrus first, yeah. then Ikar later. Yeah, Ordo's going to be kiting Ikar in a circle around the back of the room. So, um, yeah, the rocket launcher at the start, basically to stun the adds, and it does a nice dot damage on them. So we're pretty much, both you and Tay are going to fire your rockets. Once the adds are stunned, I'm going to run out and try to fire my rocket as well to get three dots on them. That usually will pretty much wipe out the adds. Do we only spam all your rockets at the same time, or stagger them? Uh, usually Tay fires first, I think, and then... 
Yeah. So, so we don't have to chain stun or anything, right? No, just, uh, yeah. As long as they're grouped up. If they're not grouped up, then that kind of gets a little messy. Okay. No, his, um, that dot is not cleansable. It's the armor debuff he puts on the tank that needs to be cleansed. So it's the armor, yeah, it's the red armor debuff that needs to be cleansed on cooldown, basically. Um, when Nyrus jumps to someone and puts the green five stack dot on, you can't do anything with that. That green dot, the higher the stacks, the more damage it does when it counts down. Uh, the only way to remove that stack is to actually have Nyrus attack you, which isn't going to happen when he's attacking Tay. Um, so pop cooldowns, it is a forced tech attack, so it is reflectable. Um, and basically, you're just going to have to pop a cooldown, because I'm going to be busy healing uh, Ordo the whole time. He's going to so, do it randomly, so he's, he could jump to me, he could jump to Tay. He could put it on you, he could put it on Ordo, so just pay attention if you get the green 5 stack. Uh, I think it has about a 7 or 8 second countdown before it pops. It's the usual red armor debuff that... The Sunder? Pretty much all the... Same icon? Yeah. Yeah, because that takes 100% of the armor away, I think, and it just makes it ridiculous for trying to heal because both bosses are putting them on each of the tanks if i have sander and i'm taking boss damage and i pop reflect would it reflect more damage to the boss yes but i would say save the reflect for the green dot because it the green, green dot, dot if it's at five stacks will take 80 to 85 percent of your health in one shot okay so cleanse the five stack no cleanse the armor debuff and I used to reflect when there's five stack green debuff. Yeah, okay. cleanse the armor debuff off of Tay, because he'll have it. I, I'll get I've the got, one off of Dree J. I've got Tay focus, so, okay. Basically, the boss just reapplies that armor debuff constantly, but even that couple seconds having it off will be good. So, yeah, don't do anything until the. Ads are grouped up. Yeah, don't attack the ads at the start. Let them uh, let them get to. Don't do nothing. Let them get to Leto, because uh, otherwise they will rampage around the room and we are screwed. Okay. Let me just change one thing. I'm sorry. I always change one. I mean, uh, that's also what I will do. You see, there will be ads coming out first here. I mean, when, when I shoot the boss, uh, they will disappear. And they will come out on top of the crates. But first of all, there's these ads coming out. So when these ads come out, I just stand still and do nothing so that they go away and go on Leto. And then when the boss comes out afterwards, I, uh, I have to get aggro on him as um, uh, um, practically immediately, <clears throat> so I hit him with an a with an AOE kind of attack, and then I taunt, and then I have to kite him around the room. Okay, then three, two, one, zero. Okay, fire. Okay, you got the dot, which is fine. Okay, you got the dot again. That's him just now, so I'll send cooldown. Okay, cleansing now. I got a dot now. Yeah, that's the one when it counts down. He jumps on me. Oh wow. Getting you up. If you got resilience, Ordo. 
I'm cutting oh, Ike over. I didn't. It was on cooldown. I already used it before. You got the dot. Uh, just no, I'll, I'll do it. Face go. Reflect. Reflect, shake, go. Ah, okay, click it too late. No, just DP. Well, yeah, I guess I'll take him. Yeah. So it's a must to not let him hit you so much. You wouldn't need them. Yeah, well, he's half HP and doing good work. Please don't. Get out! It's fine. Good. The problem is when he jumps on you like that, then he drops the red circle almost immediately after, you know. Yes. Yep. Yep. Leto was starting a lot too. Yeah, no achievement though. It so has to be bugged. It's recorded, right? Strange that it's fine on veteran and story mode, but not on uh, mm -hmm. master mode. Doors act differently in master mode. Everything's a little bit different about this fight on master mode. Because if we reset it and wipe, when we come back in, the doors 
when we get near a door, it uh, sends out rock rules, which in story and veteran, it only does that if if you're in combat when you get near the doors. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I may be a little distracted tonight. Shouldn't we turn into Rockwell form here? Uh, we might as well, might as well clear. clear. No, we got to clear the uh, left room. Yeah. The one with the bonus ability. It's easier to do that as humans. 